Hello everyone. Let us today learn how to implement any boolean function or any combination logic circuit with the help of only NOR gates. So let us revisit the NOR gate basics. NOR gate you all know it is also comes under the universal gate category. So let us see why these NOR gates are called as a universal gates. So NOR gate function or NOR set is a functionally complete set. Why? Because it is possible to implement any arbitrary conventional logic function with using only NOR gates. For example, basic gates like NOT and, and OR functions can be realized using NOR gates only. So your circuit will only require NOR gates. So here this first expression is a NOT expression X bar. You can consider it as a X plus X whole bar. So if you visualize this expression in terms of NOR gate, you will realize that here you have X as an input which is applied to both of this NOR gates. So at the output what you have here X plus X whole bar which is nothing but X bar. Second expression here we have is a AND expression which is written here as X dot Y. Now for that purpose we require to apply first involution and then we need to apply De Morgan's theorem. So here we have x dot y whole bar and one more bar means this is involution okay. Uh, then we will apply the De Morgan's law here De Morgan's theorem. So what it becomes x bar plus y bar whole bar. If you visualize this this is a, a nor term okay having inputs x bar plus y bar. So if you look at this particular diagram here at the bottom of this slide, here this first NOR gate acts as an inverter having input x, output x bar. Similarly the second NOR gate here acts as a again inverter having input y and output y bar. Now this x bar and y bar again applied to this third NOR gate. So here at the output of this we have x dot y. So we have understood this with this involution and De Morgan's theorem step. Third is a OR gate. So it is very simple. We have here x plus y. We just need to apply here involution. So this expression becomes x plus y bar and whole bar. So output here we have x plus y bar and this this goes to both of the input of the second NOR gate and we have here x plus y whole bar plus x plus y whole bar and whole bar again which is nothing but x plus y you can solve it and you will get this x plus y. So this slide shows you how you can implement your basic logic functions with the help of using only NOR gates. And because of that, uh, this NOR gate can be considered as a functionally complete set. Okay, this proves this statement. Now let us understand the basics of NOR NOR implementation. So for NOR NOR implementation, your expression, Boolean expression or logic function should be in the POS form that is product of sum form. We will understand this with the help of again De Morgan's theorem and at the end we will learn how OR AND networks can be replaced with only NOR networks. So here is the De Morgan's theorem and we have took here an example of a AND gate. So AND function is written here as x dot y. After applying involution we have here x dot y double bar. Then applying De Morgan's theorem, 
वी हैव हेयर एक्स बार प्लस वाई बार होल बार नाउ इफ यू इमेजिन द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन एज अ गेट वी हैव हेयर एंड गेट हैविंग इनपुट एक्स वाई Similarly, if you imagine this last expression as a gate, we have here NOR gate with inverted inputs. Okay, means x bar, y bar. These are the two inputs applied to a NOR gate. So this is how your uh, second gate will look like with inverted input. This this gate is called as a bubble NOR gate because here inputs are inverted. so if you replace the and gate in the or and networks you can replace these all or and networks with only nor networks okay let us see how so here is one example is shown having two or gates in the Level two and one AND gate in the level one. Okay, so it's a level two OR AND network. So first OR gate inputs are AB, second OR gate inputs are CD, and the function this circuit implements is A plus B ANDed with C plus D. So let us replace this AND gate with the help of our bubbled gate symbol. which we have derived in the last slide made up of nor gate with inverted inputs so after replacing what we will do we will just change the placement of these bubbles so these bubbles actually indicates inversions okay so after changing their place to the output of or gates this is how your new circuit will look like so now new circuit only contains nor gate so three nor gates will be required to implement the same function let us solve one more example let us implement a combinational circuit using only nor gates so here the max term information is provided f of pos is equal to product of max terms 1 3 5 7 13 and 15 we will assume here that both the normal and complement inputs are available to avoid the complexity these are the two steps we will follow to implement this function using only nor gates so first we will simplify this expression and then we will go for the implementation we don't require two table here because already max terms are provided here so we will simplify this expression first so for simplification of this function we required four variable k map after placing all these max terms inside this k map we have here two groups now two chords so first chord you have expression as a plus d bar for the second chord that is group 2 we have here expression as b bar plus d bar now we will apply involution to this expression so our expression here looks like a plus d bar and it with b bar plus d bar and two inversions now we will apply de morgan's theorem to this now we will see how this expression will look like now so it is a plus d bar whole bar plus b bar plus d bar whole bar and again whole bar now here you can imagine how many nor gates you can have here so here we have first nor gate having inputs a plus d bar second nor gate having input b bar plus d bar and both the outputs of these two nor gates is again applied to third nor gate means we required here three nor gates for the implementation so here we are implementing this four variable function with the help of three nor gates so as i said first nor gate inputs are a d bar 
second nor gate inputs are b bar d bar now output of these two nor gates is again applied to third nor gate and here we have implement actually a function which is, is which is in the pos form so always remember to implement any boolean function or any combinational circuit your expression should be in the pos form that is product of sum form so what you need to do you just need to apply first involution theorem to this pos expression and then apply de morgan's theorem and then you can have your implementation in nor nor method these are the references which you can go for further reading thank you